looks like powdered Smurf, doesn't it? Like somebody took all the water out of a Smurf and left behind this blue powder. Well, what this actually is, is copper sulfate hydrate. Now, hydrate is a crystal that has water molecules trapped inside of it. Well, let's say, for example, this is a crystal of copper sulfate. There's water molecules trapped inside the crystal structure. To find out how much water is trapped inside the crystal structure, we're going to have to add some heat, and that'll drive the water out. We're going to start with 2.000 grams of copper sulfate hydrate. It's going to be blue in color. Now when we heat it up, we're going to end up with an anhydride. And without hydride, water. Anhydride. It's going to be ash gray in color. And the mass is going to go down. Why? Because you drove out the water of hydration. So by knowing how much the mass went down, you'll be able to tell exactly what the water of hydration was and calculate the percent of water that was in the hydrate. Take the mass of water that you removed, divide it by the original mass of the hydrate that you started with, and that'll tell you, multiplied by 100 with percent as the unit, what percent by mass the water occupied in the original hydrate. We can also use this information to find out exactly how many moles of water are trapped per mole of crystal by using calculation determining empirical formulas. The first step is to weigh out the evaporating dish. Then you obtain the chemicals in a weigh boat. Next, you weigh out the copper sulfate hydrate into the evaporating dish until the balance evens out at yeah. 2.000 grams. As heat is added, you'll notice that some of it starts to turn gray and some of it remains blue. And you need to keep stirring to break up any clumps so that it all gets evenly heated. If you don't stir, you get clumps. Do not try this at home, but please try it in the lab. Gradually, the blue color begins to fade, and it may start turning green. Don't worry, that's okay. You're going to get to a point where you think you're done, but you may not exactly quite yet be done. When you're done, all you'll be left with is ash gray crystal. Then the dish gets removed down to another piece of wire gauze. Vicky goes like this She like one eye, but it's The dish is then allowed to cool for two minutes. Cool enough so that it doesn't melt the plastic, but hot enough so that it doesn't let water back into it. And this is exactly how it should look. After two minutes have passed, you place the dish back on to the balance and weigh it again. Add a drop of water. Touch your microspatula to where you just put the water. Touch it. Just touch it. How's it feel? Hard. Uh-huh. It's not wet, it's a crystal. Okay, after you've recorded your data and made your observations, the hydrate weighed 2.000 grams. Subtract the mass of the dish without water from the mass of the dish with water, and that tells you how much water was driven off. Take the part, that's 0.733 grams of water, divided by the mass of the whole hydrate, 2.000 grams, and that'll give you a percent then of course you can calculate a percent error from that.